Hey guys, it's time now for Iron Man's gaming videos. Let's just sit back, relax, and watch. So my Dota Plus subscription has ended. And now I want to see um, what is it that um, I have lost since my subscription has ended. Um, will I be able to, for example, use um, the audio wheel? Uh, the audio wheel is grayed out once you lose a Dota subscription, so you will not be able to use the audio wheel. As I said before in a previous video, um, the tools are not um, bound by Dota Plus, so you can use the tools as much as you want. Um, you just have to either get them from drops or use your shards and purchase them. So the audio wheels are totally out. All right, so as it regards to hero relics. Let's see if I can actually get a hero relic. I'm gonna try one for sniper. Nothing occurred. Phil, you cannot spend shards without activating a paid Dota Plus membership. So you cannot um, buy hero shards for your hero without Dota Plus. I got the legacy um, the legacy items before without Dota Plus, but let's go ahead and see if I can actually buy one. So I'm gonna buy this dazzle. Purchase. Yep. So I'm able to purchase or use the legacy store. I think the premium store is the same. Um, I am able to buy in premium and legacy and you will not be able to buy from the seasonal treasures without the Dota Plus subscription. So that is one of the major drawbacks of not having the Dota Plus. You will not be able to purchase any of the seasonal treasures using the shards that you have accumulated by playing the game. I, I... So one thing to note, the hero relics such as these relics from Venomancer will no longer be applicable within game. What I mean by that is if you slow a hero or you use any one of the abilities that you know negatively affects the hero, you will no longer get that effect bonus that you normally get and you'll no longer be able to level up the actual relics. So it will be like you never gotten the relics in the first place. It's only exclusive to Dota Plus subscribers. Once your Dota subscription is up, your hero level will be capped at 5. What this means is that if you have multiple hero or one hero at level 20, that hero, once the subscription is up, will be reduced to level 5. This will not change if you play a game or you get more experience this hero level will not increase so that little pretty icon that you have that show that you're level 20 or even level 30 will no longer be there the only way to get back this icon is if you resubscribe to the dota plus and then you will be presented back or given back the level that you previously were so going back to the dota plus welcome and seasonal quests of course, these quests will no longer be available. Um, so if you play a couple matches or you play some wards, um, the wards that you get from doing these activities um, will no longer be there. So that's one of the drawbacks of not having Dota Plus. So it will be a lot, a lot more tedious to get shards during games. And the amount that you get will greatly be reduced. Thank you for watching Ironman's gaming video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.